Hi guys and welcome to the Marvelous Enlightenment channel. I am Mar. Thank you so much for being here. This is going to be your October 2021 monthly general energy reading for the beautiful sign of Taurus. I am going to say sun, moon, rising, and Venus, and it can definitely resonate with you if you have those placements. However, astrologically, you may find that it resonates more with those that have Taurus sun and Taurus rising placements, but it does not matter. Let's go ahead and get started. Thank you so much. If you're new here with me, I appreciate you for being uh, subscribed to both of my channels. Okay. I do have some exciting announcements for Taurus Collective as well as Capricorn Collective, but I'm going to wait to do that on my main channel, Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. So if you are a Capricorn or Taurus, please look out for that. Um, I've been brainstorming about this and I think it's time to go ahead and um, do what I need to do and what I'm being guided to do. So let's get started. We are going to go in with your overall message. Um, uh oh. And we do have that message, but what I do in this reading is first and foremost, we're going to be talking about, and it, it is a, it is a Oracle astrological reading for you. Okay. So first and foremost, when the sun shifted into Libra Taurus, it hits you in your sixth house. Your sixth house is the domain of health and service. It rules schedules, organizations, routine, fitness, diet, exercise, natural and healthy living helpfulness and being of service to others. This is a Virgo ruled house. So the sun is hitting you right there. Now I do have the horoscopes for you below if you're interested in that. Um, we do have some astrological things going on this month. Um, we will be coming to you for the new moon and full moons as we do every month. I think I am going to start to do those on this particular channel. Um, and you know, by way of migrating you guys onto this platform because it really should be done over here. But we have been doing those live pools on the readings by Marvelous Madame main channel. Um, and anything that you want that is astrologically related, the blog is below if you want to read your entire horoscope. This is just, um, I just highlight this so you guys know kind of where you're being activated towards sun and risings. You're thinking about your health. Organizations, routines, schedules, fitness, diet. You're trying to get yourself together. This is where you are, okay? Um, so your your overall message for this particular month is confidence, okay? Confidence, it comes with time and practice. Now, as you can see, this card is number 23. Two plus three is five. Five carries a vibration, unfortunately, of challenge and energy. It has been hard to be confident in some way, shape, form, or fashion, and that's normally not your thing of obviously um, if you do have other things, if you're not a Taurus sun and rising and you do have those other placements like a Taurus moon um, or a Taurus Venus or Mars um, or even a Taurus Mercury, then obviously you have other things in your chart other than a Taurus sun or moon. I'm sorry, uh, other than the Taurus sun and rising that may affect your confidence in some way with the influence um, of other zodiac signs. So with that being said, it comes with time and practice is what it is showing here. Um, it has been challenging to do something. We're going to go ahead and go into that message. Um, and this is a, let's see, they have... I have a band-aid on my finger, guys, so it's been hard trying to navigate through these pages. I just want to see exactly this is this is not mermaid. I believe that this is probably something else. See, this is a witch card. This is considered the witch card. Okay. They have it broken down into different um sections in this particular book. All right, so let's go ahead and go into the meaning of this. It seems like everywhere around you, people are chattering about how confident they are and just how freeing it feels. Hmm. You wish you can relate to them, but you haven't gotten there yet. Listen, it's all right. Confidence is not an instant or, or overnight evolution towards collective. Just like with everything else, it takes time, practice, and a lot of unlearning of toxicity. There is something that you're trying to do. 
there is something that you want to accomplish. Now you already know I, my, my will start turning, you know, and I'm like, Hmm, what does this have something to do with? I'm already intuitively feeling like this has a lot, a lot to do with the relationship, but we shall see. All right. So we're going to keep that in mind and we're going in with your spiritual message this month. These cards are going to uh, represent where you are spiritually or what you should focus on. Now, remember, your first cross of zodiac energy is the fact that we are in Virgo season. Sorry, Libra season. Your second cross is the fact that it's hitting you in the sixth house, which is a Virgo ruled house. OK, and we do have. Your closing energy by way of the Green Witch Oracle um, is always has an astrological and a influence and planet um, cross as well. So we'll get there. What do we have for my Tauruses? We do have intuition. You're crossing with Capricorn. Um, your intuition right now is heightened spiritually and there has to be a sacrifice. We're going to get into that. I'm noticing that this is, looks like sacral chakra because it's like red. So your creativity, um, your sexuality and your creativity may be blocked. It's looking very sacral chakra-ish to me because of the color. Um, hold on. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with that. Hold on. Where is, here we go. Um, sacro, sacro, that's orange. This is kind of rouge. Which one is okay? So we have hold on, I'm going into it. Feel a oh, root, root, it's root chakra. That's what's going on. Let me get my card really quick because my card is here. We go, your basic trust. This is what's being crossed this month. You don't trust, you're having a hard time with trusting. From a spiritual um, uh, uh, standpoint, I feel deeply rooted. I am connected to my body. I feel safe and secure. I am grounded and stable. I am grounded, stable, and standing on my own two feet. I trust myself. Okay, so this is very root chakra for me. First of all, you have intuition. Each person's road to inner Lord is extraordinary and personal. How liberating to listen inside and sense the moment to moment what's needed and since moment to moment what's needed your intuition is blocked there are some things that you don't trust you're not trusting your intuition people places the things around you towards collective that is you're not trusting something is off um and normally you are i know how we think and i know that we trust our own experiences our own voice um we are fixed earth okay but there is something here that is contradicting directly contradicting your intuition and it's completely conflicting you so now you're having issues with trusting you're like what exactly am i supposed to trust versus what i'm not supposed to trust and then you also got a red card that is sacrifice what should i sacrifice and it ties directly into what you're not trusting sometimes surrender is painful God's cutting away of all that needs to go. Illusions, obsessions, and addictions. It's a sacrifice to love. This is, it looks very much so relationship related, okay? It looks relationship related. We're going in with your closing energy, okay? And this is by way of the Green Witch Oracle. And then I am pulling an additional card to represent the fact that Mercury is retrograde right now. So this could have come to you because it is retrograde. Um, it You definitely are in an energy where you are thinking about some things that you made decisions on. Um, I am very specific about the amount of cards that I pull for each one of these energies that I am reading for. But when it comes down to the closing energy, I take what comes out. Whatever spirit wants to come out is what I'm going to give to you. Um, typically, it's not too many, but that's what I'm going to take. What is the closing energy for the tourist um, collector for the month of October, please? What is the closing energy? Typically, it's just one, but there we go. And one did come out. Hope. This is very interesting. This is, this is your card or Aries. I can't tell. 
All right, so this is the card of 38. This is your 1111. Wow. This is your 1111. As soon as I said that, only one of these cards came out. I think that is really crazy that it came out like that too, Taurus. Like, really? All right, so the card of 38. First of all, the glossary is below. This is a flower. This looks like it's a daffodil, so I know it's air because most of the air is uh, the cards. Oh, no, it is. It is. I knew it was your card. That's so funny. Wow, 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 wow. Listen, listen to me, guys. If you guys are having an issue with your faith, oh, I know that that's a thing for earth signs. You get very much so caught up in the tangibility of a situation. If it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. That is a roundabout way of saying that it is hard to have faith in something that you can't touch and you can't feel something that hasn't been proven, something that you don't know. That's the whole purpose of having faith. A person, place, a thing has shown you who they are. A person, place, a thing has shown you what they can do and what they're capable of. Your strength it's cutting those ties and breaking up out of Dodge, but you can't do that because your intuition is challenging what you, what feels natural. You have to sacrifice your feelings and your control in order to love. I'm telling you, I feel it. And interestingly enough, this is a, um, a daffodil. I'm going to tell you who had daffodil last month and who could be, um, lingering in your energy. Hold the phone. And I know that daffodil is a um, is air for flowers. OK, air energy for flowers. Um, however, this is hope. OK, it is the daffodil. Daffodils indicate a reprieve for those who need it and a time to renew faith, not only in life, but those around you. Daffodils will lift optimism and help boost endurance while encouraging you to keep going. OK. This is also a period of personal growth, Taurus, both spiritually, both, listen, this is also a period of personal growth and spiritual awakenings. The answers can be found within the aspects of these. Listen to your inner voice and do, and do not become overwhelmed with negative self-talk. OK, new beginnings, self-esteem, luck, fertility and friendship, astrological sign of Taurus. This is your card, lovelies. This is your 1111. You have to trust in what you're being told. Let me tell you who had daffodil last month. You could be or have lingering energy or have a tie. So your third cross is with yourself. It's all about you. Now, who had daffodil last month is Scorpio. Hope and regeneration. They also had tarragon. You could be crossing with Scorpio energy. I'm just going ahead and letting you know that. Okay. They did have the daffodil. That is the opposite of your energy, but also the energy um, that you resonate with the most, believe it or not, because you both are fixed. That's fixed water. You are fixed earth. Okay. So you guys want the same thing, but you want them probably, um, you go about doing it in very different ways, um, Taurus Collective, but something needs to be sacrificed. Um, you need to trust the intuition that you have, hope, sacrifice, confidence. Um, so this is very, very interesting to me. Go ahead and give me, wow, tiny triumphs is the card that you got. This is our bonus energy. This particular Oracle deck matches the deck that I am using on the channel this week. So it does have an astrological tie. Definitely. I mean, a spiritual tie because I am using it in your main energy. Okay. On my main channel, tiny triumphs. This is about belief, attitude, power of perseverance, and what I like about this is that they actually tell the story about the image. I love it. A mouse dressed as a circus trainer is holding a, a small eagle, as you see. The situation is inverted. The predator is small and the prey is big. Do you see that? 
because normally it would be the other way around. This card urges us to believe in ourselves. Do you see you got confidence? Do you see what I'm saying? These are completely different decks and they all support the same thing. Don't ever think you're too small or too outmatched in the situation. Inner size is what matters. Think back to a time when you felt good about an achievement. Don't give up now. With patience and hard work, you will triumph in the end. Listen, whatever it is, Taurus, you're going to achieve it, okay? I am going to be making a very special earth sign announcement, but with specifics to Taurus and Capricorn, please look out for that. If you are my client, you already know how it's about to go down. Thank you so much for allowing me to bring you this message. Um, I love it. It's going to get better and better. I love that deck. I love your message. Um, you are definitely struggling, but this is your card. Um, you are being guided to trust that intuition, have that confidence. And this is something that um, it, you're ready to walk away from but you're being guided to sit still and you don't like that because you cannot do what comes natural for you, but you have to trust your intuition this time and whatever it is, you're being guided that you have to uh, sacrifice. Sometimes surrender is painful. God's cutting away all that needs to go. Illusions, obsessions, and addictions. It's a sacrifice to love. Maybe you or someone that you know, or that you love, or that you want to go to the next level with Taurus, is that's all being cut away from them. Things are happening on the back end. You don't necessarily know what it is. It is not your business, Taurus Collective. It is happening. And just when you think that you, you got whipped or you didn't succeed in this situation, it has a way of circling back around to you. Do not think that it is over with. I'm telling you. Mwah. Like, share, subscribe to this marvelous tribe. Go ahead and subscribe to both the channels, Taurus. It is always a pleasure. I will see you on my main channel when we go ahead and break down your love energy. Bye, guys.